Star. Hi, friends. Doc South with you. And I was just thinking of this. Um, I don't know why this even came up, but it, I, in fact, I may have even done a video on this particular topic. But if so, I did it about two years ago. I remember, oh, it was a long time ago now, good 10 years uh, easily, when I worked for uh, the Atlantic and Pacific uh, Tea Company. Right. I was more on the Atlantic side, yeah. <laughs> and the um, we I, I worked in the dairy section, which is a, a nice place to be. All sorts of uh, you know bottles of milk and butter and eggs and stuff. And well, all the time people were now and then things happen. Uh, uh, stuff would drop, <laughs> fall right out of your hands. <laughs> It's it's amazing how that could happen. Uh, I I I can oh I, I countless things. In fact, I ought to do a whole series on things I've dropped in the dairy case. Um, but in this case, it wasn't me. No, it was uh, a kid. I I was working uh, again at the uh, at the A and P up in Mount Olive, and it, I don't know it was one. I think it was sort of early evening, late afternoon. Uh, and I remember seeing a, a dad and his son walk by me, and the kid was carrying a one-gallon uh, bottle of, um, you know, these plastic bottles like milk comes in. Yeah, it's a one-gallon jug of um, orange juice. And he's walking by me. Now, the kid was probably about six years old, if that. Okay, and he's just walking by, you know, diddy bopping, talking with his dad. Looked like they were having a good time, father and son shopping, you know, getting a few things, helping mom out. And I don't know, they, I didn't even think much else about it. I went to struggling, you know, trying to get some butter into position there. And all of a sudden I hear, I hear, hey, mister, mister, come here. Oh, oh, like this, you know, and I, I, I looked down at the direction the uh, father and son went, and uh, lo and behold, they were having a problem. Uh, the kids like this, oh, Dad, I, I, I don't, I, oh. And, well, he didn't, let's just say he didn't have the bottle of the gallon jug of milk in his, of uh, orange juice in his hands anymore. <laughs> it was at his feet. And uh, somehow or another, it came, I didn't see it happen, but it, it fell. And, uh, of, of course, these things can't take a hit, those jugs. They're plastic, you know. And uh, there, was, uh, there was a sea of orange juice. Yep. Uh, I mean, just a sea of orange juice surrounding this poor kid. And he is mortified. He's like this. And he's, and I, of course, I come, uh, I, I get over there as quick as I can. Dad's looking at it. You know, he's, oh, God, Junior, he'd say, I told you to hold it by the handle. And, Dad, Dad, I'm sorry. And he he's looking. He he sees me coming. Mister, I'm sorry. We we, I I I didn't mean it. I I know you didn't mean it. Look, it's it's all right. It's just orange juice. Yeah, but it's all over the floor. What if someone slips? I well, yeah, it, that can happen. But that's all right. Uh, he says, Come on, we'll we'll pay for it. I said, well, it, that's fine, you, but you don't have to. It, these things happen. You can get another uh, uh, jug of orange juice, but I, and he says, but uh, we got to do something to make it all make it. Got we 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 got to clean up this mess. I said, well, that's my job. I said, I'll get it. Don't worry. But uh, uh, but I could see where maybe the kid was really upset, and I said, but look, and I said, look, if you two don't mind. I said, if you two don't mind, would you please wait here and make sure no one steps in this? Okay, because they can slip and fall. And then we got trouble. Someone gets hurt. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. And the kid, like, stands guard. I mean, honestly, he looked like he was in the military. He's, like, pacing back and forth like they guard a, you know, like they guard the entrance to a post. Uh, <laughs> he's, I, I, I could have handed him a rifle, I think, but March. Advance and be recognized, you know, that guy. Yeah, oh, he was really. And and Dad's doing, Dad said, we'll make sure no one gets near the puddle. Son, just don't walk in it. He said, yes, sir. And the, the kid was so nice and so worried. And so I, I run and get some more of those uh, the wet floor signs, and we 
surround the perimeter. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> he had me talking military stuff. Yes, let's get the perimeter now. <laughs> and and uh, so we got uh, post sentries at the perimeter. And I, I run and go get the mop bucket, the heavy artillery, uh, with a, a nice dry mop. And um, I, I come and as I'm walking down the aisle, uh, pushing the mop, it's it's one of those rolling buckets with the mop. I'm pushing it. Um, I can see the kid. He's like I said, he's he's guarding that puddle. Ain't no one going into that puddle over his dead body. <laughs> and again, he's like five, six years old. He was so cool. And uh, I said, well, here I am. Let's you guys want you can go. I'm, I'll get this mopped up. No, we're going to help. And we want to pay for the orange juice. I said, you don't have to pay. You don't have to. Just let's get this cleaned up. If you want to help, just stand guard, okay? And as people are walking by, they're, they're shunting them around me. Long story short, eventually we get down to the point where paper towels are getting up the little bit of residue. Everything's up. And, uh, you know, case closed. Uh, floor's nice and dry. I said, come on, help me test the floor. What kind of shoes you got? He said, I got leather shoes. I said, good. So I'm wearing sneakers. Let's make sure this isn't slippery. What do you think? And he, the kid's rubbing his feet on the... He says, yeah, that feels good. That feels good. And I, the whole time, I'm just admiring this little fella. You know, he, he'd be like my kids would be in, in the same situation. And he's... Uh, Dad's actually looking kind of proud of him. And the... Uh, I said, well, now you better go get another thing of orange juice. But this time, you know, hold on to it by the handle. Don't, they'll slip out of your hands if you hold them by the edges. The handle, you got it. It's only seven or eight pounds. And, uh, and you'll be, uh, you know, it'll be so much, it'll be safer. The kid goes and picks another one. He says, like this. And he's showing me. I said, yeah, like that. That's what you do. And uh, they go, they go marching off. And I don't know if they went and told the cashier that they busted one and wanted to pay for it. She, the cashier would have told them it didn't matter either. These, these accidents happen. And, uh, but the kid was so, so responsible and so concerned. And I would, I would venture this. He was very happy to make it right. That I thought made for a very cool kid. Huh? That's what I'm thinking. You know, that, that was now, let's see, I, what did I say, 10, 12 years ago? That kid is now probably a young adult. You know, he's probably uh, off to college, um, certainly out of high school. And um, he might, gosh, he might even, well, I don't know. People don't get quite married as early as like I did. So, but he's still, he's probably got a steady girl and maybe a job somewhere. And um, he's, um, I think he's going to be okay if, if, if what he did that day when the when the orange juice went it <laughs> went kaplooey, uh, I, I see a future for that young fella. Huh? He's probably a rescue guy. I'll bet you. I, I'll, I can almost guarantee you he's either a fireman, a rescue guy. He's in the military, uh, or he's doing some kind of volunteer work somewhere. I'll, I I have no way of knowing, but I'll just bet you. I'll just bet you. He's probably going out on a call, even as I. Even as I speak, never saw them again that I noticed. I may, they may have come back once or twice and said hello, but again, I, I certainly lost track of them. But anyway, I thought you'd like the video. You know, when you see the kids acting up and uh, and and yeah, going loony. Well, you know, we all did that. But uh, take heart. Every now and then, they uh, they. Uh, they uh, well, they get they get things right. Bless their hearts. Anyway, I just thought I'd say. Doc South signing off. I'll see you later, friends. Thank you, and God bless.